Kwame Atua Sari, alias Kwame Eni, together with three others, had been on the wanted list of a police after it emerged. They were working with some policemen in Axim to extort monies from illegal miners. <laughs> We work with the police to extort monies from many Galamsey sites. The three other suspects are Williams Kofi, Richard Kwesi, and Imano Kujo Brunier. The latest arrest brings to aid the number of suspects linked to the incident. Leader of a team now in police custody, Kwame Atu, in a series of videos since the incident went viral, has spoken about the collusion between the Exim police and his gang. Security analysts had urged the police to treat the suspects as informants. We need to do an audit of the current personnel we have in the system. It was in other jurisdictions. The civilians who have been treated as informants, if you like, or people of interest who can help the case of the police. Because the conduct of the police personnel uh, was very untenable. A police statement on the latest arrest noted Kwame Atwasari, while in hiding, made allegations of extortion against the Exim District Police Commander, the crime officer and other police officers in the district in several media interviews, and these are currently being investigated by the Police Professional Standards Bureau. Ex-police officer, now MP for Wa West, Peter Tobu, wants the Police Professional Standards Bureau to fast-track the probe and make the findings public. Referring that matter to the professional standards bureau is in the right direction. When you conclude the matter, please come back to the public and let them know this particular matter that we're investigating. The police officers have been punished or they've not been punished. The suspect in court, this is the outcome. We want to follow the case to its finality, and I think that that will be more professional. For now, the police are preparing to arraign the four other suspects.